Hello everybody and welcome to Beast Swarm Gaming. Now first of all, let me just say that I really enjoy Beast Swarm. You know, I got introduced to it. Didn't really think much of it when I first started it because when you're a noob, I mean a true noob, this game is difficult. I mean, it literally feels like you're swimming in mud as you're walking through the fields. You can't wait till you get boots, you can't wait till you get bigger packs, you can't wait till you get more bees, you can't wait till you get like a lot of stuff. But once you start going with some better stuff, you know, once you start getting the feel of things, this game becomes more fun. And it becomes really fun once you learn how to fast farm. Because you always try to beat like the last number, right? Like, hey, I got two billion last time. So what can I do? What can I do? To get up to five billion, ten billion. In fact, I would dare say that there is no, like, unbeatable number when it comes to fast farming. Because there's so many different fields. There's so many different fields that you can actually... I don't want to say that you can get, like, one trillion from fast farming. But, is it out of the realm of a um, possibility that a person could get, let's say, a... 100 billion? 200 billion? 300 billion? from fast farming, you know, like in terms of a, a profit, you know, I, I know people have gotten, you know, like that much, uh, but they had to spend like so much, uh, t to get that much, but can they get half a trillion to fast farming? I think it's possible. Sure. Why not? I mean, that's, Probably uh, one of the few parts of the game that's like true strategy is the fast farming. But this game broke it. This game broke the one part that was true strategy. And how did they do it? I started off in uh, Mondo Field. And what they did is they took away the drops. And they nerfed the blessing. Right? When you fast farm, it's very simple in the basic concepts. I'm not going to go into the difficult concepts, the the, the, the parts that, that have to do with like the market and everything like that. But if you really want to like fast farm, and I'm not even going to go into, you know, like you got to use purple potions and smoothies and gumdrops and all this. But to like do a simple fast farm. You use uh, the winds, right? So the wind chimes. You get a blessing from Mondo Chick. And you spend less time at the hive. Which means what? Microconverters. Nerfing Mondo Chick has done what? Gotten rid of the amount of microconverters that a person can have now. That's what has happened. Yeah. When you go from being able to fill up your uh, microconverter deficit to now only being able to get one or two yeah, I said maybe three. Someone told me that they actually got five. I don't quite believe them because, you know, I fought Mono Chick like several times in a row by myself and have never got five. And this is with a uh, tornado popping before and staying the whole time and still only getting like three. So, yeah. You take away microconverters and you've basically broke the whole farming concept of this game. You basically broke it. The whole farming concept of this game is done. You can still farm. Oh yeah, you can still farm. But you'll be noob farming. Meaning that uh, you'll be going back to the hive no matter where you're at. Or you'll be farming 
from uh, hives close to here, you'll be using uh, masks that will definitely increase your capacity. And you won't be getting those huge numbers anymore. And worst of all, they'll be upset people. And remember that uh, a lot of your revenue, your sweat revenue, the working revenue of a game comes from the willingness of people to spend time on a game. But if a lot of their time on fast farming is going back to the hive that they're trying to avoid through fast farming, which, which was easily done by getting converters, you broke the game. Was it on purpose? No. Maybe. Maybe. That's actually possibly true. Maybe. I mean, there was always this talk about how hard and how long on it works. But what else does he do? I don't see him as being part of a gaming um company. I mean, it's almost like uh, this was his only game that he does. Maybe he works at another job, and this kind of was a, uh, a project that he did that caught on, and he just didn't want to stop. And uh, I'm not dogging anybody. I'm not dogging on it. I'm not dogging this and that. I'm just saying, without the microconverters, this game is broke. This game is broke. This game will start to decline. Uh, people will stay with it during Beesmas. But after Beesmas... If there's no um, real and easy compensation and change for the um, microconverters. And I'm not talking about stuff like this, right? I'm not talking about where you go somewhere and you, you can convert it. Because that's just crap. You know, you know, now if they did something like that, where like in every field, you know, you can like jump on something and then... You can just, uh, you know, convert your honey there. That'd be like crap. I think, like everything else, gamers know better than developers in certain aspects. But it's developers that always have the final word. But it's gamers that decide to either stay or move on. And then it's going to be developers that say, ah, I shoulda, I coulda, I wish. My final word on this is, I've seen games come and I've seen games go. And five years for a game is a long time. Three years for a game is a long time. I look at this Beesmus, this is my first, and then I went back and I dug and I saw what they did for the previous two, and I was actually surprised that they're giving away Festive B again for the third time. Not a tradition. So it makes me think, and this is the last thing that I'm going to say uh, about this, and then, then I'm going to end up with some good news, is it feels like Bee Swarm is coming to a conclusion because it's being broken. It's not being torn down, but it just feels like not much has been added to it like it was last year with the whole 35B zone. You know, Get mono chicks back up here. So so let's see. Let's uh let's see what mask do I have? Oh, I have uh the demon mask. This isn't my primary account, but let's try to kill him fast. Let's use uh a stinger. Let's see if we can actually get him down quick. And then maybe if we're the only ones up here, we can see what we get as gifts.
fine. There we go. I was going to say, like, what the heck is going on? There we go. But yeah. Yep, those are my thoughts. My thoughts. This year's update is a lot less from what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing than last year's. So we all got to be truthful and say, why, why are things less? And those green things. We're supposed to catch a hundred of those. And this is like a celebratory type of year event. And you make them like difficult. Like, really? Uh, okay, whatever. I mean, I don't want to complain too much. All right, now, so here's the good news. The good news is, well, one, you can still catch a mythic egg <laughs> from a drop. But that's actually good news for me because it's still a very 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 difficult thing to do good the good news is that this game is still so very popular that it's going to keep gaining people into playing it and it'll be difficult for the game to like totally shut down it would literally have to keep breaking down and people would have to get away from it that that people would try so hard to save it. That's the good news. That one mistake won't bring this game down. People have just invested way too much, even for myself. I may have a problem with it, but you know, I've spent so much time playing it, I spent so much money into it, you know, and that's just, uh, the good news okay so kind of read bitter berries treats honey neon berries more treats Let's see. one micro converter there we go more treats If you're still being made, let's see, more treats, more honey. I don't think there's anything new that's going to come out, but I still see stuff popping up. Mostly honey, though. These are winding down. So, I saw one microconverter. Maybe there's another one that snuck in there. But, not like before. So, we ended it where we started it. That's why I think this game is broke. Because when they nerfed Mondo Chick with this update, they changed the drops. And that one thing, the microconverters... If they don't show how they uh, either replace it in a different place or a different type of mechanisms that's just as good, if not better, then the concept of fast farming is going to be gone. And this game is going to eventually float away too. Because no one's going to want to waste a minute and a half out of their fast farming. Because there's no more microconverters. You guys take care.